Hello, hello, and welcome. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Devin Booth, joined by Joshua Steam King Peterson. How you doing, Josh? How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. I'm doing good. We're ready for some racing, and it's not on a road course. The Oval Series is back on the Oval. Atlanta Motor Speedway today. Tommy Gunn from chat. How you doing, buddy? Cheering for Andrew, right? I should indeed, but we don't know. Uh, by the way, let's get these facts out real quick. as we real low on time. Yep. So this track tonight is 1.54 miles. I can't do the math on the head. Backing on the oval, 24 degrees in turns, 5 degrees on the straightways. Seeing capacity, 125,000. Open July 31st, 1960. And, uh, yeah, I just got the bio out of the way. Welcome to Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Mo Speedway. This also more modern multi-purpose venue has become the fastest track on an NASCAR circuit. 24 degree banking around the mile and a half quad oval serves as a slick, super competitive racetrack. Now, for longer, this track's gonna get some changes soon. <laughs> some changes? I wonder if iRacing will keep them up. <laughs> yeah, they're changing uh, the width of the track in a couple places, up in the banking by a couple degrees in the turns. In fact, the turns, the width's gonna get a little narrower, so it's gonna feel like Darlington in some points. So this could be the last time that we see this old Atlanta. Indeed, John are in the chat. Hey, Sean, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Oh, number three. Yep, Donny Gun. Oh, cheering yep. for our man, Andrew, as usual. He was in fourth in the uh, practice, so we'll have to see how they do. Boys are gridding up here. Let's run through our leaderboard and see where everybody's at. We have Joe Hildinger coming out front with a 31-6-31. Nick Boyd with a 31-6-52. David Kleiner with a 31-7-01. And Mike McMillan with a 31708. Chris Generelli, 31730. And Wayne Roberts with a 31842. Mark Keck with a 31868. Andrew White, 31924. Dave Blair in ninth with a 31964. And Jerry Watson running at our top 10 with a 31966. The rest of the grid is as follows Kenneth Eastep, Jeremy McLam, Mike Weber, Donald Warren, Braden Swock, Mick, and A. Morano Jr. Uh, we are doing well over here, Tommy. Thank you for asking, sir. As these boys get themselves started up on their pace lap, we're going to take a look at the rest of the field as they come around. Lights are off on the car. She's only going to be one. They're on the back, and then away we go. Everybody warming up their tires. See a little bit yep. of shaking. A little left and right movement, Sepatini. Here for 150 laps. Atlanta Motor Speedway 150, Simpit Oval Series. Pace car is going to be getting ready to pull in right away. Joe Hildinger controlling the pace. Nick Boyd right up next to him. The cars should start to get a little bit closer together as we come through the last corner. TFR and Ace of Deuce, hope you guys are well. Here we go. Joe controls green. the start, and they are off. Green, green, green. Joe Hildinger with a good run in that 25 car. Oh, yeah, Nick Boyd is right yeah, behind him. Uh-oh, what happened? Where did it go? Oh, is it the back of the field? Is... Oh, let's see. We got quite a few cars spread out. Looks like there was a hiccup. Josh, we're trying know, to figure out what happened with, for us. It's not with a can of V-step. I think uh, it was control heading up into the 38, and that definitely caused it right there. The oh. 04 got through cleanly. All right, so Ken E-step seems to be one of the ones caught up. Let's see what goes on here. We'll try to catch it as these guys run their pace lap here. Runner in the slow mo. This is our start here. Just taking a watch here. That's the 66 car of Kenny Step down low there. Yellow already. Oh no, that's yeah. unfortunate to see. Yeah. Looks like Ken just got on her a little too hard. Goes up yep. into the 38 off the wall. That's going to come down and at least collect two other cars. I believe that's the 13 of Mike Weber and the 16 of Donald Warren that got collected up there. Unfortunate start to today's events. Yellow already. Let's be honest, though, guys. We're going to knock our wood now. The series has been pretty good. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> got to keep, gotta keep <laughs> I it my, up. I, I have my wish more pronounced than your word, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've, they've been pretty good. This series, it has been really good. Uh, most of the race races have stayed green for the majority of it. So hopefully that's just an early race. An early la uh, race hiccup here 
A little bit of an issue as the guys started off, but we still got an hour and 55, 150 laps left to go, so these guys got plenty of time to make up for it. They're just giving us some time to say hello to you guys. TFR, Ace of Deuce, Zip Hit Live, and Tommy Gun. Hope you guys are well. Anybody else hanging out in the chat, thank you guys for watching. Much appreciated. Take the opportunity to shout out our patron program, patreon.com slash the Simp Hit, if you guys would like to get in and help us do what we do over here. Keeping the broadcast going, keeping the racing going, keeping the lights on, in the pit so that Chandra can keep doing his review reviews and Booth can keep trying to learn how to do reviews. We'll get her figured out eventually. Sean's already got her done. So again, patreon.com slash the simpit if you want to keep us moving forward. And we appreciate you guys. As you look for the field for manufacturers, 10 of them are Chevys, 5 Fords, and the lone Toyota, Mike McMillan. The lone Toyota out there trying to do it again. <laughs> you know, like the Lone Ranger, but golf one. These guys at the moment getting ready to get lined up. I think they'll go too wide as we cross the line here. We'll have to watch and see. Uh, and we got some Millie Pit things after that uh, wreck. Mark Zakarak, Mike Weber, uh, Mick, just Mick, <laughs> and Jamie McLamp. Mick, no last name. <laughs> <laughs> PayPal. <laughs> and it looks like, what is going on? Is everybody get a wave um, around here? Can anybody hit me with a black flag and give me a black flag for entering a closed pit? I'm going to lose that. But uh, Zakania gets off 33.3. I... Nick 32.1. Why are we all, can you, okay, Josh, you know how to do oval things, and maybe somebody in chat can tell me what in the heck's going on, but that pace car's lights turned off, and now all of the cars get a wave around? What, is this what happens when you go yellow on the green flag? I've never seen this before. What the heck is happening? I haven't really been watching oval racing that lately. What did you say, Joe? I couldn't hear you. Uh, McLaren 42.1, Weber 50.5. I don't know what's happening right now. Chat, yeah, throw us in. We're, we're drawing blanks. The 78 of Mark Sikoyak is apparently in 13th position, but also behind the pace car as the pace car pulls in. Who's in first place? I don't know what's going on. The racing has commenced. The pace car's in. Joe Hildinger is in first. Mike Weber is a lap down in second. Oh, well, Watson, what? Watson extended the cost by one lap. Oh. Now two laps to green. Okay. This thing's all screwed up. There we go. <laughs> all right, he's saying it's all screwed up. Yes. I think maybe <laughs> iRacing had its hiccup moment there. Thankfully, we have Mr. Watson here. <laughs> he will to fix things. I don't quite know what happened there, but uh, it happened. Pace car is coming out now. I think Hildinger will let the pace car by. Yeah? And then and everything starts to go correct? Hear me about the black oh, that's the pace car. I don't know if I can help you or not, Jeremy. I'll try. Let's see. Jeremy McClam. Clear penalties. I think I did it. Thank you, Devin. Uh, yep, you did. <laughs> yep, you did the thing. I'm, I'm not really sure. At least, uh, at least not in that scenario okay. at, like, no, well, 12 and only 90s. Only hey, 80s. I just realized it let me... It, it let well, me clear um, a black flag as a uh, as a broadcaster. Come on, sixty two. Yeah, but it's not that uh, North Wilkesboro race where like Carson came out and everybody was all confused because <laughs> it didn't know who was actually leading the race. <laughs> okay, pace cars in again. Go Hildinger controlling the lead. That's apparently nah, a single give me a fire pass start. On the pace car, I never passed it. Oh, nice! And got I'm the gonna clear black flag, folks. Pass in the pace, guys. We go green, but never passed. I'm here. I'm here, man. Where's the clear penalties? Clear penalties. All any, right. Any, anyway, you. Something. Okay, Mike, Mike Weber. Weber. Black flag. Mike Weber. Clear penalty. All right. There you go. <laughs> the uh, other, uh, I don't know what's going on, guys. This is the weirdest damn start I think I've seen yet. I am. Um, the damnedest thing just happened. <laughs> So we've got Joe Hildinger out front. We're on lap six. I don't really know hey. how it happened. Jerry's throwing another caution. Got a yellow, Jesus got a yellow. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. <laughs> uh, we didn't take a week off, but you might think we did. <laughs> some, some weird stuff well, is I didn't. happening. I definitely took the week off, yeah. But that was, that case, 
I'm gonna quickly just uh, hold on here a second. Let's see, Mike, uh, line. Can I? I don't even know if I can. Uh, hmm. I don't even know if I can do this. Was it F12? There it is. Okay. Yes. Let's see, race Traffic control. Like Traffic race light. Green, yellow, green, yellow. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Sound. Where's the press the talk? Let's make it C. All right. Uh, and the boy comes into the pits. All right, test, test. Do we got everything working now? Does it seem like we're going to be okay? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, but we've got two to green right now. <laughs> All right, your broadcasters are fucking confused. <laughs> okay, so we had a uh, uh, wreck, and the pace car came out, and we all held up for it, but we shouldn't have. And so the pace car and everything got messed up, and then people got black flagged, so we had to straighten everything out. Uh, about black flag. Thank you, Dave Blair. Thank you very much. Uh, if you guys do need black flags called, uh, cleared rather, and there is a legitimate reason, I can do that. So just keep calling them out if something screwy happens. But please be honest, all right, guys? Good luck in the race once she gets going. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I think we're <laughs> Sorry for the language, guys. I apologize. This is this is this is a bit of a gog show. Or I think they're good now. I think he said we got two laps. Dave Blair's explained it to us. They passed the pace car and shouldn't have let it by. They should have caught up to it because they let it by. Everything got hooey. <laughs> we're well, also in a bit of a doozy here. Now my cap is saying the time has to switched. complete this race has hit the uh, 55 minute mark. Total laps eighty six. Yeah, I think I I so, think it's I think it's just deemed it impossible for us to finish the race in an hour and fifty five minutes, and decided that we're now <laughs> going on time instead. So apparently, about eighty six laps, if everything stays green, wood knocking knuckles hurt. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Looks like the cars are going too wide. Lights are off on the pace car. All right, boys. So here we go. This is our uh, opening lap of the Simpit Oval Series yeah. at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Definitely not oh, starting man. lap ten. I promise. Oh, just have you ever? Oh, I never. <laughs> we have now. Jesus. <laughs> Having a little bit of fun on your Thursday, are you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Too much. All right, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, and 16 cars on the grid ready to go. Joe Hildinger controlling the pace as the guys get to start again. Coming around, I believe this is 3 and 4. They're coming around now. Yeah, all right. Looking good. Let's see how these guys do. I, I don't know, buddy. I, don't, I just don't know. Everybody stay clear. Stay calm. Stay clear. Get on the gas easy. Bring it home, boys. Let's go. There we go. Joe controlling the pace. The Supra up top. Dave Clymer in third. And Joe is off with a mad gap. Mad, mad gap. Uh, we got two side by side there. That's McMillan and Clymer for second and third, respectively. And Clymer down low. He's going to get that position pretty well right away. And it looks like McMillan's actually going to get stuck up top there. Which means oh, yeah. that he's going to lose that wide. position. And four wide out in the back four there. Wide. Oh, oh, wow. Holy. <laughs> we got quite a cluster going on in the back here. That is Jeremy McLam pulling up the rear. Kenny Step just ahead of him on the outside. Now going to go back to the back, I believe, as McLam makes that pass down low. Mike Weber and Mark Sikoyak also messed up in that jumble as these guys start to line up. A little bit of two wide there out of Nick Boyd and Mick, last, Mick no last name. As we move ourselves up, Jerry Watson is in 10th position there, and we'll keep moving ourselves up the field to check out where everybody's doing. Dave Blair, thank you again for helping out. <laughs> the MXer, Brandon, <laughs> indeed, buddy. This is a cluster indeed. Down low, the 22, and Nick Boyd on Jerry Watson going for a move there. Coming down, yeah. we're on lap 11 of like, what well, says 150 again, so I'm not really sure well, what's going off, on. Not, my cap's updated. I've uh, been out in 27 minutes. Yeah, me too. Okay, now, so, it's, now it's coming back a bit. Apparently everything's fixed itself. The 17 of Jerry Watson going down low on the number four of Braden Swack there. Swack getting stuck up top. And it looks like Mick No Last Name is going to get himself down there. He's got a bit of a run. Let's see what he does. Two wide right behind him. Dave Blair there with Sequoia and Weber, I believe. Yeah, Sequoia there on the inside. 
There's quite a bit, of, quite a battle going for this top 10 area as the crowd starts to even themselves up. Let's get a look back on our leaders before anything too crazy happens. Is Hildinger still running away with it? He is. Like, Half a second like, ahead at the moment. Like nothing crazy has already happened in the uh, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Joe Hildinger. No craziness. Actually uh, losing time. Dave Clymer. He was uh, running a little slower in the practice today than one might have thought, but he's got a 31.757 there in second place, moving up pretty quick. Catching up on Joe. We'll have to watch and see what happens here. Let's move ourselves back through the field again. So Joe Hildinger holding out front still in that Chevy, and David Clymer in the 242 in second. He's up one position at the moment. Mike McMillan up one in that 42 Kellogg's. The only Yoda out on the track. Wayne Roberts is in fourth position. A little bit of a gap between him with Chris Generelli in behind there. 32.059, Chris Generelli's fastest lap. He's got Andrew White in behind him there. Go, White, go. Oh. And he's going to dive low, actually, on the number seven. Chris Generelli's going to end up high. He's going to get stuck up there. And it looks like Donald Warren's going to get a position out of that as well. Are we going to see Dave Blair and Nick Boyd get up in there? We will have to see. He's got the draft. He's definitely catching up. He's going to come down to these corners. Dave Blair quite a bit lower. It looks like these guys opted to run a higher line on this track. Can you tell me anything about the groups here, there, Josher? Well, for the groups, this track is isn't um, like Kansas, where the fast lane, the top lane is a fast lane because it's not that, it's not multi banked. So it's got consistent so, angle across the whole turn. Pretty much, it's just so traditional over banking. Dave Blair stuck down low right now. Mike Weber in that 13 getting past him. And the 38 of Mark Sequoia going by on the top now. And he's able to maintain the speed, though. We'll have to watch and see. They come out two by two. And he is going to get the pass. That is now Mike Weber and Jeremy McLam. Sorry, Mike Weber and... Uh, or sorry, Jeremy McLam and Mark Sequoia. <laughs> Up a position. Wow, my brain's working so good. Here comes Sequoia right behind there on McLam. Looking to make that pass there. Kenneth Estep running in 15th at the moment, and Braden Swalk back there in the rear as we cycle back to our leaders. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. Joe Hildinger still holding up top with that quality pole stay pole, five tenths ahead of Climber, but lots of race left to go. No yellow. I'm on the side of uh, Weber at the back of the field, and uh, you should see Weber's gone. It's. Uh... <laughs> yes, Mike Weber does have the Barbie car. Apparently, it's a daughter's birthday, or I think is what he said. Oh, 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 okay. I think that's oh, what I, I heard. <laughs> He's got an excuse for Barbie car, okay? Apparently. But we're going to go with uh, he likes Barbies. He's all about them Barbies. Feeling a little bit of Ken today. Ken. <laughs> McLam yeah, down low, making that pass. And Sequoia's going to try to use that momentum. Not quite going to get it done. He doesn't have a bumper on him as he come into the turn three here. And they're going to spread out a little bit. Let's back up to our leaders again real quick here. Joe Hildinger with a 6-10th lead over David Clymer. Holding down that top position still. David Clymer with a 32-5-37. He is about the same speed as Joe. So there's not much difference there. Could see the later stages of the race start to shake things up. Mike McMillan in that 42 Cornflakes. Hanging out in third position, up one at the moment. Wayne Roberts up two for fourth, and Andrew White up three for fifth. White looking to do good today. You know that he's had some issues in a few of the races, but he's getting better every time. Yeah. And uh, he's certainly got the pace to be up there for sure. He was running again in fourth in practice and actually held second and third for a little while. Oh, so. We got Blair on the side of Generelli there. Moving back, Blair on the inside. No Generelli up top. Thank you for catching it. Looks like Blair is going to make that pass stick. Yes, he does. Generally kind of peeking down lower. Might be looking at an over-under type deal, but not quite able to make it. That pack behind them still shaking around quite a bit as well as we got the battle for 11th, almost the battle for the top 10. Jerry Watson managing to stay just ahead of Mick McLam and Weber here as these three continually change positions, and Sequoia as well, also with his nose up in there. These four cars playing musical chairs here in that top 15 to top 10 kind of area. Take a quick look back up here and take a moment to acknowledge our mover for the day, Donald Warren, right now in that 16 car. He's up seven positions for seventh. Seven for seventh. Mick, though, up five for 11th, looking to challenge him if he can get himself out of that pack in the back here. And yeah, now I see uh, Donald Warren just um, 
right behind uh, Nick Boyd in the State Park Marshmallow. Yeah, Boyd managing to get that pass done. I think the lap before this one, we were watching the back there. Put Warren down into seventh. He was up to six for a bit there. We'll have to watch and see how that shakes up. These four cars here, though, all very close together. That's Nick Boyd at the back. Yeah. Anthony, uh, Andrew White, rather, sorry. Robert, uh, Wayne Roberts and uh, Mike McMillan. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. All real close together. Developing a little bit of a gap, though, to McMillan in that third position there. Wayne Roberts, Andrew White, and Nick Boyd. Currently, the battle to watch up top here, as it looks like the Boyd's going to make a move on Andrew. Yeah, he does. And it looks like he's, he's going to make it stick, too. Yeah, because by cleanly. Yeah, there we go. Turn three. Andrew's going to have to drop behind now. That's going to put him back to sixth position. Oh, boy, now Nick Boyd dives low. Roberts. Yeah, Roberts must have had a bit of a hiccup there. He looked like he had to dive quite low to avoid him. Andrew's yeah, got his choice of draft at the moment, but kind of stuck in the middle of the two. Not really picking up much of any of it. Yeah, but Boyd gets by and now in the fourth place. McMillan now, now no longer with that gap. Nope. They're closing up on him. On pit boat. Schwack going in. Looks like he has some damage to the front right there. I'd assume maybe tickle the wall. Yep. A little some bit of early repairs. 25 to 150. <clears throat> oh, Boyd just passed the catalogs on Mike Millen and he's up to third. Uh, that's it. Boyd's now back up to his starting position, I believe. No, no. Second place is a starting position. Oh, was it second? All right. It's almost yeah. there. Almost there, but not quite. He's, Climber, he's one down. Climber, the one to chase now. Take a quick look at those leaders real quick. Hildinger checking out. Climber's a second back at this point. Boy, a second back on them. Yeah, Andrew White passing uh, Wayne Roberts here, the side-by-side -side on the front stretch. That's right. Andrew's down low. The 47 of Wayne Roberts up top. And it looks like the 16 of Donald Warren right behind them as well. Warren dropping back bit by bit here. I believe he's now in seven. Might have stayed six. We'll have to watch and see when they come across yeah. the line. Always takes a second for yeah. caps to update. But a good little mix-up going here for that top four positions. These guys fighting for that top four, top five. Look at the difference in the lines out of these guys. Oh, yeah. They're going up to the top, the middle, low, middle, low, top. Uh, <laughs> dancing all over. Wayne Roberts down low right now. Speaking of up and down, still a word up top. Ford versus Chevy. The Ford going to come out in the front on that one as the Chevy opts to stay low. Warren giving lots of space. That's Dave Danger Blair right in behind them in the 36. Now starting to make make up a little bit of time as these guys fight. It looks like we now have a pretty sizable gap here in between our top three. That's 1.4 between Climber and Hildinger and another 0.7 between Boyd and, and uh, Climber. So... No battles to speak of at the moment. Mr. McMillan running in that fourth position, though. He's certainly not out of the woods with Andrew White right in close behind him. Donald Warren, Wayne Roberts also following right there. And Dave Blair now up in the mix. This car is just about a five-car battle here. Lap 28 of 150, about to come to an end here. Bains out of the pits, and then 45. Must be refer repairs. Maybe decided to take tires and stuff while he was there. Oh, yeah, probably. Well, one of Bombets battling an end. But just behind Roberts. And Angel White doing his best to hunt down Mike Millen. They get fourth. Yeah, this five car battle continues. Colin Warren shaking around with Wayne Roberts right in behind him. And again, that's Andrew White behind Mike McMillan there for the fourth, fifth. If these guys fight, they're going to end up right next to each other. And the next group behind them. Looks like Nick Boyd's going on Climber. <laughs> Nick Boyd taking Climber out of second position. Boyd is now back in his starting position, as is Climber. Hildinger still checking out. Got Braden Schwack pulling down low there. Letting the leaders go by. Joe Hildinger. Now with a 1.8 second lead over Nick Boyd in second position. David Clymer running behind in third. We have ourselves a battle for second. 
Have to watch and see if Climber manages to keep up with him. Indeed, Brandon, that is certainly something that we have to watch. Andrew's been doing better and better as the time goes on, but he's got to get to some of the nuancey stuff. Hopefully he doesn't get unlucky on this one. He's had some pit issues. But he is doing well at the moment, holding that top five. Nick Boyd seems to be running away from Climber. I don't think Climber has the pace anymore. 34.057 out of Climber, 33.655 out of Nick. I wonder if Nick's taking tires at that lap seven when he went in. I mean, if it made a difference. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have a fake off battle between Warren, Roberts, and Blair. That is the battle for the top sixth position, I believe, top at the six, moment. Seventh yeah. and eighth. Donald Warren up top. Dave Blair looking down below. And Wayne Roberts there in the middle. <laughs> Scanner. Andrew's doing my bud. I was pissed off, go. Oh, and that. The that 47 was Roberts. Wayne passing Roberts him. down low on the t number 16 of Andrew. Donald Warren, Jesus. My words are so good. Andrew White's at the top of my scoreboard. I keep getting confused. There we go. Donald Warren up top, managing to hold on to it through the first set of corners. I don't think he's going to maintain that. Dave Blair looking to pick something up out of it if he can. Oh, and we've got a wall. Warren's oh, yep, playing tickle. That's going to drop him back now. And Dave Blair's going to move up a spot. Up the seventh. Along with well, Wayne Roberts. Bob is six and then one and eighth. Keeping an eye on Warren just for a second, looking at how his car's doing here. Seems to be holding up not bad. A little bit of a scrape, but nothing too major. Better okay, we got. I bet we got bad oh for fourth and fifth place. Mike McMillan and Andrew White. Yeah, Andrew's right on his tail there. A little bit wide through turn three here. And Andrew goes up high. Not Mr. able Blunt to bring slow. it back down, yeah. Could be often to save tires, we'll have to watch and see. Move ourselves back up a little bit here again. Yeah, looks like the leader's checked out, man. Joe Hildinger, 1.5 seconds over Nick Boyd in, at the moment, and another 1.2 back to Climber. So the top three pretty well secured for the moment. We'll keep our eyes on this McMillan-White battle for now. <coughs> Excuse me. That number 42, Kellogg's Yoda. Trying to keep the Yoda up in the top five. The lonely, lonely Yoda. All by himself. <laughs> and Andrew White looking to get himself up there into that top four if he can. Behind them is a battle between 6th and 7th by Robbins and Gibbett Bland. At the right back of the field, <laughs> they got a battle for 12th and 13th. Mark Sakariak and Jay Watson. These guys at the back are still going at it. There's Sequoiak up top. Putting the block on Watson there as we scroll back. Play Watson getting low, a little bit the loose there. Coming in through the corner. Watson got a little bit loose. Doesn't seem to have a very good run, but seems to have a better line through the corner in that center groove there. Uh, play is still side by side with Roberts. Yeah, Dave Blair down low in. Roberts up top. Whoa, and Roberts Ooh. is coming down low, making sure that Blair knows he's there. Now he knows. <laughs> Out of turn four here. Blair has a bit of a run, but not quite enough. Roberts staying real high, maintaining that speed on the up top. Blair trying to get himself up into that sixth position. Oh, and Andrew White getting a little bit loosey-goosey there. Going to drop about a half a second off McMillan and putting him a second in back now. Yeah. Wayne Roberts and Blair's battle continues. Kenneth Estep in the pits. I did see some damage on Andrew's right-hand side of his car there. It does look like there's a little bit of something there, doesn't it? I was wondering yeah, about that. It's a bit all up, and it's nothing that Paul's won't fix. <laughs> As uh, Kenneth Estep is the pits. What is it that he's in the pits for? Does it look like he's pulling over, or look like he's getting repairs? Uh, yeah, he's just, he's just pulling over. 
Dave Blair right now still down low on Warren. These guys the battle heating up. They've got uh, Donald Warren coming up behind them. Between uh, sorry, Blair down low on Roberts. Warren coming up behind them. <laughs> He's got about a quarter panel on him as they come through the front stretch here. Crossing the Kennedy. line, about half a car length back, or half a car length between them. And actually, Robert's gonna opt to drop back there. Blair shoots out as they come into turn one. He step on his way out. Yep, uh, 43.1 second. Let's piss up. And let's move ourselves back up, take a quick look at our leaders once again. Joe Hildinger. Only six tenths ahead of Nick Boyd, actually. Boyd could be coming to put the pressure on Hildinger. We'll have to watch and see. That could have happened with traffic. I do see that they just finished dealing with Mick No Name there. Mick No Last Name. As the battle starts to shake up for the lead here, it looks like he's going to reel them in. We'll have to watch and see, though. Hildinger so far dominating the field. But drop back quite a bit over these last few laps here. Nick Boyd is uh, getting into a bit of trouble. Going down into the pits there. Maybe yeah, opting to pit is. early. Maybe. Well, he actually uh, pitted earlier on lap seven. After all that caution. That's finagle. right. Yeah, I wonder why he's going in now. That seems like an odd pit for him. Hildinger three seconds ahead of Climber at the moment, who's up top on Mick last, no last name. 62 of Mick, letting him by nice and easy. McMill in there in third, with nobody behind him at the moment after White got a little bit loose there. David Blair did manage to get up into that fifth position. We've got Kenneth Eastep at the moment as a lap car. We're going to get his laps back on pressure tires, passing the number 47 of Wayne Roberts there. Dave Blair looking down low, Andrew White up high. I have to wonder if there was a mistake made there. Andrew seemed way up top. I wonder if he's saving tires or what. I'll have to watch and see. And if he's making his way. Oh, Joe Hilding has in the pits. Uh, Nick Boyd, 38.9 seconds. What's the best outcome? And that was lap 41 that Nick Boyd went in. So Hildinger now the second. I don't know. I don't want to say so. You can say second car to go in, I guess, because of the way these pits are. <laughs> Technically, it was Braden and Kenneth first, but there they went in really, really early, and then there was a bunch of other people that went in on two and seven. Well, it was actually four cars that went in first. Yeah, yeah, if we want to count the yellow Weber, thing. McLean, <laughs> Mark, Nick. Yeah, there's a couple of cars that went in the first on map two. Yeah, pits are all screwed up. We're, we're just, everything's all messed up. Joe Hildinger coming out now, lap 43. What was his time? 39.2. It was a little bit slower then, than uh, Nick was. Hey, Blair, looking to get that position from Andrew White. Climber moving up into first now. And we've got some smoke. Oh. oh. Did we get a yellow? No. Oh, that was kind of easy. Oh, no yellow. No yellow. Let's you might just keep it going. Oh, a scuffle with uh, Mick <laughs> there. And this up just is right onto the infield. Dave Blair making a pass on Andrew White at the moment. Down low as we cross our finish line on lap 46 of 150. Side by side, the 36 and 3 of David Blair and Andrew White. Andrew White holding up top there. Real close to the marbles. You have to wonder if it's slick up there. See a lot of rubber on the track. Andrew ducking yeah, in behind. Real tight on Dave Blair's booty there as they come into turn three. Yeah, it's usually stuck up there, so you don't want to do a whole lot of steering. You do most of your steering in that chance. That does look like there's a lot of rubber, especially on one and two. Seems to be quite a bit up top there as they come through. Number 36 of Dave Blair locking in that third position. Yeah, a lot of rubber right there. On that, that's turn two there, up top. Not somewhere you want to be cut up high. Dave Blair holding down that podium at the moment and actually getting some speed on Andrew. Let's take a look on our leader, Dave Clymer, at the moment as we come through. This is lap 47, coming to a close, starting 48 again, 150. Lana Motor Speedway Mike. for the Simpit Oval Series. Mike McMillan has him to the pits. Ah, and right behind him is going to be Donald Warren. 
So the pits are starting to come through. We're going to follow Climber here for a moment and just see. Let's get an in-car on him. Currently also, our uh, leader. Jerry Watson and uh, Mark Zakariak also heading to the pits. Do you guys pay attention? You guys will be able to hear Josh calling out the pit info as we go here as they start to come in. That way you guys know what he's talking about there. We'll be calling the pit times and the guys in. You can see on the relative, or on the, uh, sorry, I get the relative has it too, yeah. but the standings you on the top see. left, you can see what's going on they there as well. They can't see the times. <laughs> but not the times, that's right, yeah. yeah Mike McMillan heads out 40.8. Donna Warren, 42.2. Watson is going to head out. His pit time is going to be 40.2. Climber staying out again. He's five Mr. seconds Zachary away first at the moment. 42.9. That's all of our bidders for a moment as Climber comes around so quick. Mike Roberts hits the pits. That's the number 47 out of fourth position. Oh, Jim, we just had a smack in the wall there. <laughs> it's just at the end of turn one. Hopefully he's okay. Yep, and just here we go, Climber pulling in. Leader's gonna just shake up. Good damage for Jamelli. And there's Climber. I'm good, but if I can get the camera there. It's gonna move Dave Blair up to the front. Currently up eight from his starting position, running lap 51 of 150. I'd imagine it is a two yeah. pit. Three, should be pitting at 50 and 100, unless there's something that happens right before the end. Yep, Christian Valley, Jim McClam, Mike Webber head in. Tony Roberts, 39.1 for his best stop time. Joe calling it. These guys staying out on old tires after Joe went in are going to lose time when all is said and done. Um, I uh, seem to be counting on a yellow, I think, like a last minute yeah, yellow. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Climb with 39.3. Dave No Tires Blair living up to his name. Yeah, wow, he's up in the now. lead. <laughs> He's a winning. Oh, we got cars back in the back there behind Climber. Yeah, Climber's right. coming out of the pits now. And that's Kenneth the Eastep there pits. as well. Christian really 43.5. McClam, 39.9. And Weber just came out as well, right? Yep, Weber, 42.1. Uh, yeah, Joe, I'd imagine you're right. <laughs> and your white heads into the pits. So that's everybody pit but Blair. Dave No Tires, Blair living up to his Nick, name. Uh, Nick to a quick stop at 22.4. Must have only taken two tires, eh? Maybe. Uh oh, not fuel. Blair moving to, down low. Oh, he is fuel. wiggling around like mad there. He must be getting ready to pull into the pits. Yep, pulls down low onto the apron. Blair going in. This will be lap 53 that Blair goes in, and he's the last driver to pull in. So we are going to get a little bit of a shake-up here. At the moment, it does look like Joe is going to hold the lead. Nick Boyd, though, right behind him. Boyd having pit a couple of laps earlier than Hildinger. Andrew White, 39.7. Nick gets back to pit road. I'm thinking that he probably has right back into some um, usual speeding penalty. I can play a, a big curse here. You sped on pit road. Andrew White coming out is actually a lap down on our leader. Staying out like that, definitely not helping these guys. Those that opted to stay out longer are now feeling the wear. Joe Hildinger, yeah, Quali Pole, Stay Pole, running the lead as we finish lap 55. Sorry, lap 54 on to lap 55 of 150 yep. at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Yeah, boy, a 40.5. And, and it looks Mick like Mick's coming out, out, yeah? After serving his uh, speeding on pit road penalty, 54.6. Yeah, so definitely a penalty then. Long pit. Joe Hildinger running out front. Andrew White on the fresher tires, looking to get by there and run away if he can. I imagine Hildinger probably just going to let that happen and hopefully use some of that draft to get a gap on Boyd. We'll have to watch and see. And that's, I believe, Mick down low on the 62 there. Staying down low, letting the leaders come by. Of 
quite a cluster. See how no tires Blair makes it out now, yeah. Yeah. Right, Who knows, maybe clusters. he wins. Speaking of clusters, Joe, you said it saw the beginning, you know what's next. <laughs> Yeah, the beginning of this one was certainly, Whoa. yes, very it much a, so. It was a mess. doozy. <laughs> a small accident on one small driver's accident part. Small accident caused the pace car to get so confused. Yeah, four guys pit <laughs> on lap two, pace cars in and out and in and out. I think we actually officially went going on lap ten. Yeah. The 140 <laughs> at Road Atlanta today, or at, at, at Atlanta Motor Speedway, rather. Yeah. <laughs> Hildinger running out front. Mick right now caught in between the leader in second place. Nick Boyd trying to get himself around, I'd imagine, there. Mick's running on fresher tires, though. Yep, about eight lap newer tires. Which is enough to make a difference. Yeah, so we still think that's a grip, but Hildinger still got the power. Yeah, Hildinger's got a hell of a liner on this track. 32.968 on that last lap. Still staying in the 32s just for now. Nick Boyd trying to get around Mick, I'd imagine, but Mick's just kind of stuck in the middle at the moment. Sneak yeah, up, he's just stuck right in the middle there. Just can't get in, can't get out. Oh, and the yellow comes out. Find the sideways car. Where is it? It seems to be Generelli. Chris Generelli in that number seven. Let's back it up, see what happened. Oh, it's here. Generelli and Blair. Oh, what happened? Looks like oh. Blair must have hit the wall. Yeah, Blair comes out here yeah. on the exit. Yep. Flipping the wall on and turn Jim two just... there. Ow. Chris Generelli going low to avoid. And luckily, who is that there? that just just misses him yeah look at that jerry watson it looks like dave has a bit of a hiccup on his okay. internet connection and his car disappears in the perfect time for watson to get through it before he comes back doesn't look like there's any damage on Wat on watson's car but i think he would have made contact there hard to say unfortunate circumstances and Generelli yep. going to be leaving the race on that one. A couple Yellow cars come down pit road. No thing a boy, Clement, Clement McMillan, Roberts, Warren, White. Watson. Pretty well everybody on the lead lap, I bet, eh? Yep. Get ourselves back up live and we'll keep an eye on the pace car for the moment. Mick, no, na no last name in that 62. Running behind the pace car in 15th at the moment with Mark Satkoyak in behind him. We'll keep an eye on these guys to see how it goes. That's uh, Mike Weber and Kenneth Eastap. 9th, 10th, 11th. Satoyak, Weber, Eastap. Boy, 39.6. Kleiman, 39.1. McMillan, 38.9. Roberts, 39.7. Uh, looking at the maps. So McMillan with the fastest pit time. More than 41.8, white 41.6. Yeah, that's it. Hildinger coming out of the pits there now. We're going to have to watch <laughs> and see what exactly happens here. I believe he's still Joe. in first. <laughs> what happened? I step away and it happens. <laughs> we had... I can go back and show you real quick here. I believe that was David Blair that went off, right? And reserves. Yeah, Blair and generally. There we are. Well, Jeremy got. Dave Blair coming McLaren, out. Weber and Eastep on pit road. There it is. There. Blair catching the wall on the exit there. Chris generally coming down low. Watson just missing him, and then a third car there, but no contact out of the last one. Blair going for the toe. That is our second actual yellow. There's been a few, but yeah. <laughs> I think that's our second, second real actual one. Third in total. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the third one is like. Hey, Mark, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah, because. <laughs> yeah. So the second real yellow, and I guess it's not even technically the third, right? It's technically like the fifth or so, because he made that yellow car come out a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to go with second. 
We're just gonna go with second. We're gonna call it second. <laughs> yeah. Weber, 42.6, east of 44.1. I didn't knock on wood, Joe. It was my fault. I forgot. <laughs> well, I was on the pits, but I didn't go yellow. It just went straight red, but I didn't say toe. It'll be, be connected. There you go. Ah, yes, server disconnect. Yep, and coming back at loss. McLaren was going to walk pit road. This time is a minute 24. And it looks like Sequoia going to get the wave around there. Yep. Hildinger going to be up at the front. Nick Boyd in second. David Clymer is going to be in third with Mike McMillan and that Yoda in fourth. Wien Roberts for fifth. And Donald Warren for sixth. That's the six cars on the lead lap at the moment. Mike Weber in 10th, Kennedy Step for 11th, and Jerry Watson in 4th. Andrew White currently on the lead lap in 7th. I think he'll get the wave around on those guys. Mick, no last name, in 14th. Mark Satkoyak <laughs> hey, and Jeremy McLam for 8th and 9th. And then we're back up to our leader. Yes, this yeah. is indeed a thing, Mark. <laughs> Hope you're well, buddy. All right. Pace cars, lights are off. Cars are two by two by two by two. Joe Hildinger yep, controlling the pace. It's going to go green with Blair still stuck on pit road. And that is lap 63 coming to a close. Green on 64. Green on 64. The 25, Joe Hildinger controlling the start as we come out of turn four. Pace car is in. And they're off. Joe Hildinger. Going for that run. Nick Boyd not going to let him take it, though. Just ahead and slips back in behind. David Clymer doing his best not to lose them, too. He knows he's going to have to fight hard to keep it. We have the top six drivers all having pit lap six. Actually, sorry, top seven all having pit lap six and even the eighth pitting on 61. These guys are all on freshies. Nick oh, Boyd that sucks, low. Nick Boyd down low, looking to take that lead away from Joe. This is the first time we have seen the leader change in an, an actual passing capacity. Somebody has actually taken the lead from Hildinger. This is the first time. And Boyd got it. He does as they cross the line. Boyd in that 22 in first, up one position now. I got the lead lap, but he didn't get the, his spot in clear. <laughs> Hildinger is not letting him take it. Manages to stay up top and hold that position with the top line. And Climber not even catching up on these two as they ran side by side. Very surprised there. Hildinger back out front as they come out of four. Nick Boyd in second. Move ourselves back through the field. Climber in third. Wayne Roberts in fourth. And McMillan in fifth. Joe Hildinger coming with a 3 1 6 51. Fastest lap of the race. Donald oh, Warren in sixth position at the moment. Andrew White in seventh. Lap cars of Weber and Watson in tenth and eleven, respectively. Jeremy McLam in eighth position in that 38 car. Going to be looking to catch himself up and get past those lap cars. Mick, no last name in the 62 for 13th position. And Ken Estep in twelfth at the moment. Mark Sequoia in ninth in the 78 car. And we're back up to our leaders, Joe Hildinger in the 25. Holding it down, lap 67 of 150. Atlanta Motor Speedway. They do have a battle between uh, Donald Warren and Andrew White for 6 and 7. Let's see how that is. Oh, boys, between Mike Webber and Jay Watson for 10th and 11th. And also between Kenneth, Kenneth Eastup and Apnick. Go ahead. The 12th and 13th, but the difference is that Kenneth Eastup has two laps ahead of <laughs> Yeah, Eastup getting ahead there quite easily. Oh, it was Dave's headset went out is what happened. Oh. That is unfortunate. We, uh, you guys don't know, Dave's been having some cable issues recently. There was a, there was a kink in a cable, and it seems to be causing issues. Nick Boyd going to make that pass on Hildinger and actually takes oh. it this time, but Hildinger not letting uh. it go without a fight. Coming out of four, he's going to get right back on him and onto the inside, but just a bumper as they come across the start-finish line into turn one. Hildinger down low in the 25, the 22, holding that center line. Climber's still looking to catch up to these two. 22 Other really that. opening up that corner. Other than that, Climber's got a fucking OC. Yeah, Climber having the good watch at this point. 
You know, Climber, though, I mean, half the time he ends up pushing so hard, he, 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 he over pushes and causes himself some issues, right? So maybe Climber's doing a bit of a strategy here. Maybe he's like, if I sit here and I watch these guys fight, he won't push so hard till the end. Maybe there's something to it. Maybe he's switching Good. rims. Lap 70, it is a five. He should be switching rims this lap. <laughs> I thought he was to stay on one rim the whole race, not swap. Oh, don't you know Climber changes it every five laps? <laughs> he's got to drop a millimeter every five laps till he pits, and then he goes back to the big one again. <laughs> so that's how you stay optimal and fastest in the first yeah, season, That's anyways. Climber's secret. It's changing rims. I hear a rumor tells he even switches pedals sometimes. Oh, all right. Ain't well, that ain't that a way to get ahead of the competition? Speaking of climber, we're watching from his in car at the moment as he continues to watch the battle between Nick Boyd and Joe Hildinger. Those two are running first, first and second respectively. Boyd currently with the lead up one for one, and Joe Hildinger down one for two in the 22 and 25 cars respectively. Doing good there with a good little battle, showing off, keeping us interested. Get back on the out car again and take a look through our field, starting with our leaders as usual. Nick Boyd in the 22 for first, Joe Hildinger in the 25 for second. The 242 of David Clammer running out the top of the podium in third position at the moment. Wayne Roberts up two for fourth in that 47 car, followed closely behind by Mike McMillan in the 42 Yoda. And Donald Warren in the 16, right behind in sixth position with Andrew White making a move as we watch it down low as we come into turn three. Andrew White going to go for it. He's going to have to open up that corner if he wants to maintain the speed on the front stretch. You see him opening him up. Donald Warren, a little bit of a wall touch there. I believe I saw some smoke. Maybe not quite, but close. Andrew White holding down low. Still going to manage to keep that spot. Mike Weber in 10th position, lap at the moment. Watching these two closely behind with Jerry Watson in 11th. Looking to make a move right behind him. So I'm sure he's not wanting to get stuck behind these cars for too long, even though he is the lap car. Moving back, we got Jeremy McLam with Kenneth Eastep right on his tail. Both these guys on fairly fresh tires, but unfortunately, sorry, Jerry, but yeah, 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 I got McLam. All right, McLam having some damage though. That back right of his car looking pretty beat up at the moment. Front right has some cushion on it as well. Looks like he had some issues. Uh, Dave Blair in the pits there, like you said, cable issues, unfortunately. Mark Sekoyak in that 78 in ninth position, all alone at the moment. Back up to our leaders, Nick Boyd, holding it down in the lead at the moment in that 22. But, but if you haven't noticed, Climber has gained up a little bit, there, a little bit of time. He has indeed. Half a second back was where he was when we looked just two laps ago. He's now two tenths between him and Hildinger, and only a half a second to the leader. Oh, I heard he's using the opening. Top three. Yep, nope. Don't dice. He's right on the tail, Hildinger on Boyd here. As they come oh, out of turn three. sees the opening. Yeah, Climber. Nope. I mean, he's, he's definitely watching for something here. This battle for the podium mm -hmm. is tight. Go Hildinger moving down low. We could see something happen. He had a uh, bit of a run high. there, but looks like he had, couldn't quite get it. Climber running the lowest line through the oval at the moment. Hildinger right on the bumper of Nick Boyd as we come into turn three. Hildinger. Oh, Boyd goes up high, real high. Hell, Hildinger's got it. Yeah. As it looks like Boyd had to lift, but Boyd's staying on the wall there. Hildinger taking back that lead, but Boyd not ready to let him go. Keeping the bumper on him as they come in through one and two. On the exit, they're going to be side by side. Nick Boyd using that higher line to keep that speed up. Looking good. But as Joa mentions, is, mentions, abusing tires and your toast could indeed happen here. We'll have to see which one's running them harder is... Boyd saving by being up higher, or is Hildinger losing by being down low like that? These guys, door to door, they're both oh. trying to take that center lane. Climber <laughs> right in behind them, just probably hoping they don't crash at this point as they stay too wide again for yet another uh, lap. Climber right Boyd. on his tail. Boyd, Boyd does take it. it. So Hildinger got it back for a moment, but Boyd sneaks back in there and grabs it again. 
the battle for the podium and the lead. Getting spicy as we cross lap 78, starting on 79 for 150. Once again, this is the Simpit Oval Series. And you guys are welcome to join if you'd like. Series is always taking uh, taking registrants. Uh, speaking with our series admin, Jerry, there, he said, uh, no problem, you guys can apply whenever you'd like to. You will accept. And uh, as long as you show yourself to be a clean driver, you'll even stay. So if you guys are looking to get in on some oval action, it's good racing here with these guys for the most part. We'll just ignore the hiccup for the first 10 laps of this race. That doesn't happen very often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I'd ever seen that, so... Nick Boyd yeah, still holding is, uh, that lead. definitely looking his chops. <laughs> yeah, he's holding it there. Let's go back with the in-car on Climber again. And give us a roll bar. Thank you, sir. I like me a good old roll bar camera. David Climber hanging in back there. Only a tenth separating him and Hildinger. He's having to check up not to pass these guys at this point. Nice boy goes up high. He's probably just trying to stop from going side by side. He sees these two monkeys going through there side by side. Knows they're wearing tires. <laughs> he's just sitting in the draft here, sitting pretty, lifting when he lifting when he's catching up and taking it easy. Number 22 of Joe, or sorry, 22 of Nick Boyd holding the leader. 25 of Joe Hildinger up high on one and two there as they come out of the back stretch. They are nose to tail as they come into three. Climber closing the gap as they come in. Widening that corner real nice out of four. And he's looking pretty stable here. It looks like Hildinger's struggling, though. You're seeing a lot of weaving out of that 25 car. Nick Boyd on point at the moment. Running extremely clean. Closing out lap 82. We are over halfway, boys. That Stay Puff car showing off his booty and keeping himself up there. Nick up top. Looks like Joe's going to get a little bit of a run moving to the outside as we come into turn one, but I don't think he's going to be able to hold it. We know there are a there is a lot of rubber up there. Oh, yeah, our exterior cameras. Climbers getting a run. Does Climber go for the pass? He is going to get next to him as they come in through three, but is he going to manage to keep it sticking? Absolutely not. Climber dropping back. Again, maybe calculated. Could be. That 242 just hanging out in third at the moment. Looking pretty strong, Nick is out front there now. Running real clean. Hildinger's, he's all over the place trying to keep it up there. Imagine getting quite stressed in the middle of these two. Maybe just wishing Climber to get off his butt already. <laughs> That's only me. We know Climber, though. He don't get off the butt. <laughs> all about nah, that base. Nah, he eat like a sustain on it. <laughs> This battle for the podium continues. Let's roll ourselves back real quick while we have the moment. Nick Boyd again running in the lead. Joe Hildinger in second position, real close behind. David Clymer in third and then back to fourth. A little bit of a bubble there to Mike McMillan in that 42 Yoda. Still holding down the top five. 47 to Wayne Roberts is in fifth position. Currently up one from his starting position. Andrew White doing well holding that sixth position. Up two from his start. Hildinger well, side by side team. passing Nick Boyd. And we'll Almost. jump back up. Thank you for catching it. Looks like he's going to get it, but we'll have to watch and see. Again, that upper line seems to have a better run for the straights, maintaining a little bit more speed up top there. More track, more run. Hildinger going down real low, but you can see it. That 22, just it keeps that speed up up high there. And he does manage to stay ahead once again. Climber just goes. hang it out. Hope this goes. The uh, top lane's got a wider radius on the bottom. Yeah, more track, more speed, right? Yeah. 
Mark Sakoyak here I mean, in the lap car. This could be a bit of a kerfuffle. He's got three cars behind him, so there's not really much lane choice for him. He's going to opt to stay high, but we know that these guys have been staying high in order to maintain their pace. Is Climber going to be able to open up? He is indeed. Sakoyak getting out of the way nice and clear there through the corners without obstructing anybody. No trouble here. As Nick Boyd does maintain that lead, Joe Hildinger in second, and again, Climber in third. Let's run through the rest of our standings here while these guys have a bit of gapping. Mike McMillan in fourth against Sequoia for ninth. Wayne Roberts in fifth. And again, Andrew White is where we left off at in sixth position in that number three car doing well. Donald Warren currently our mover for the day up seven in that 16 car. And Jerry Watson in tenth in the 17 car followed closely behind by Mark Weber in the 13 for 11th position. Kenneth Eastep in twelfth in that 66 car doing pretty good getting himself back up there. He was the one who had an issue in the beginning so I'm sure he's kicking himself and just looking to stay clean at this point but he seems to be doing well with his head on his shoulders now. Jeremy McLam last car on the lead lap I believe in the number 38 in eighth position and make no last name in 60 in that 62 car for 13th position there is a period we can call him mick period <laughs> huh. and we're back up to our leaders again nick boyd up front joe hildinger and david climber the battle for the podium continues and as we have a bit of a lull take a moment thank you guys in chat for coming to hang out much appreciated very very much so You know, the guys uh, that do the Oval Series had asked us to broadcast this, so we are here for their sake more than anything, but it's nice that you guys decided to come out, and we appreciate it very, very much. Uh, in case you guys would like to support the crew, as always, patreon.com slash the simpit to get in with the patron. Help keep the power on and the wheels turning, gas in the car and whatnot, if you will, and what have yous. David Clymer is right up tight on Hildinger. And Hildinger is, seems to be struggling just a little bit here. Nick Boyd running strong in the lead. Yeah, I guess it's the um, Chameleon Ghost Demon or something that's got really good power. <laughs> he is doing well. Mick Millen, though, also starting to catch up. He's only a second back now. If these guys keep fighting and McMillan keeps pushing, we could see the battle get a little bit spicier. We'll have to watch and see. Booth knocks on wood because we're talking about the potential yellow at the end of the race. That is a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Not gone, Ben. Sakariak so heads into the pits. Uh, yeah, Sakariak's in. That's lap 92. I think it'll count as 91. He's a lap down. Uh, Climber making the pass on Hildinger. There we go. Climber up to second uh, now. Hildinger going to let it happen as he comes out of turn four. Often to slip back into the draft. I'm sure Hildinger knows he's struggling at this point. You can see him wobbling around a little bit. He's got to know better than we do, right? Yeah. Good thing. The second place comes for those who win. Moving ourselves back there. McMillan and Roberts now real close to Hildinger. There's only about a half a half a second. Three tenths at the moment from H McMillan to Hildinger. So McMillan and Roberts going to be looking to gain some positions here as Hildinger drops back. I think Boyd and Climber are doing their best to check out. So Kavia at least put about 41.2. And that was lap yeah. 90 that he went in. Lap yeah, 90. 90. I think Boyd was signed the game then, Boyd. Well, looking at the last times, uh, last lap times, we have a 33-7-46 out of Nick Boyd and a 33-5-95 out of David Climber. Climber did have the draft on Joe and made the pass uh, on that yeah, last ben, lap, though, yeah, so we'll have to see. He is up tight right behind him. We'll watch these next laps and see. Here comes the climber. Start the Jaws music. Yep, right. up side by side now. There he goes with that run out of four. Uh, climber leads. Up two for one. Climber in the 242. There you go. 95 laps. <laughs> Nick again, though, riding that high line really strong. Climber getting loose. Uh, Nick's going to get back loose. up next to him again. <laughs> Climber going down real low after getting loose like that. Nick riding that center line, knowing that he's solid there. As Mick hits in the pit road. And Mick in. We'll be listening for Josh with the time's out. Climber did manage to lead that lap, but only by a hair. 
as and Nick and Boyd, uh, Nick Boyd and David Clymer continue to continue to switch positions here in first and second for the second lap in a row. Up 96 at the moment for these boys. Clymer opting to stay down low. Nick Boyd up top. Clymer not getting loose this time. Probably a little, a little bit extra careful, I'd imagine. Coming into turn three again. Nick real strong in that center line. Going wide, wide, wide throughout the corner there, though. He looked a little higher than I think he meant to be that time. Nick Lee's good road for the even. Mick period with a 40 even for the pits. And that was lap 91 that he went in. We should see the rest of these cars starting to go in here pretty quick. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Joe jump in. Depends though how many tires they're limited to. I didn't I didn't see. Yeah. Jump in, jump back. Climber running away. Boyd just not able to hold him, but Boyd seems to be running a better line for tires. He does he doesn't seem to be going lower like that, even even when he's not behind somebody. Or even when he is behind somebody, rather. Yeah, you said Joe jump. Yeah, you said Joe. Yeah, he's on pit road. <laughs> Joe jumped in. There we go. Yeah, he's like I said, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so that means we should see Boyd and Climber come running in here pretty quick. Last time these guys went in early, Joe came out on top. Last time they went in early, Nick caught up to Joe. So, and then Joe came out on top in the end. But Joe also lost the few there with this battle between these three. And they didn't come in yet. 98. Coming to a close. That's lap 99 and 150. Just about two-thirds of the way through. Just about. Mm. Although we are one hour and three minutes into the race. And they're hoping to leave Spit Road 39.6. 39.6 out of Hildinger. That was lap and 97 that he came in. Warren came in. That's Donald Warren yeah. in the 16. And so is E-Step. And E-Step in the 66. Thank you, sir. Nick Boyd losing on Climber. Climber's just flying. Mm -hmm. Seven tenths ahead on Boyd at the moment. Lap 100. If these guys don't come in now, I feel like Joe's just going to take it away. Andrew White comes into the pits. That's the number three car out of fifth position. So Andrew did manage to gain a couple while we were watching this podium battle here. Sorry for not catching the rest of the field, but these guys being so close together, we don't want to miss them. We can scroll back now as we watch. Uh, again, keep your ears open for Josh to call out the pits here. David Clymer in first in the 242. That is Wayne Roberts in the 47. Up to second position as Nick Boyd hits the pits. What timing yeah. that was. <laughs> Can it be step uh, 42.1? Joey Hodinga, 30.6. There we are. And Boyd uh, is uh, going to go now past that minute marker. Oh, now he's leaving. <laughs> he must have sped. Maybe. And you're right, 43.7, the clam on pit road. Wait a little bit slow on that pit, I wonder why. Yeah, Donald Warren in minute 19. Nick Boyd and Jeremy McLam are both in. And Boyd now leaves the stall with a 39.3. Keep our eye on Climber right now to see when he goes in at this point. See if that podium battle comes back. We'll have to watch. Taking a look at our leaderboard right now, we have David Clymer out front, up two for first position. Wayne Roberts currently up four for second, but waiting for the pits to cycle. Mike McMillan in third, Nick Boyd in fourth, Jeremy McLam in fifth, Joe Hildinger in sixth, Jeremy, Jerry Watson for seventh, Mike Weber for eighth, and Andrew White for ninth. Mark Sutquick running out the top ten. Donald Warren, Kenneth Eastep, Mick Period, David Blair, Christian Early, and Braden Swack bring us back to the end of the field. I believe that David Blair, Chris, and Mick are, or David Blair, Chris, and Braden are out. I think Nick yes. is still on the track. We'll take a look here in a bit. Yes, uh, McGlam 39.2, McMillan on pit road. So that just leaves David Clymer, Wayne Roberts, Jerry Watson, and Mike Weber left to pit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's Odinger. Yeah, Hildinger is definitely going to have down, that lead. He's fine. I'll be getting left back. <laughs> Clymer's going to be kicking himself now. Wayne Roberts now in the pits. Unless he's counting it on being... If it's a, gl a green flag run, hmm. does Climber have enough time to catch up? You know what I mean? Because right now he's a lap ahead, right? He pulls into yeah. the pits. He's going to yeah. come out right around the same time. 50 second lap, uh, 30 second laps, 39 second pits. Mm -hmm. So he'll be six seconds back, roughly. 
if he pits now, he'll be six seconds back on Hildinger. Or a little bit more than that, but... Yeah, down to seeing that one. McMillan, 40.3 for his pit time. Lane Roberts, 39.3. Now it's just Weber and uh, Farmer. Only two boys left still out on them old tires. Yeah, we'll have to watch and see. I'm not sure. Climber usually has the strategies to do. Like you know, like when we watch Climber, he's usually the one pulling the strategies out. So I, I can't discount what he's comes doing. Into but yeah, I, he must be hoping for a last minute yellow then, right? A last minute oh, yellow and pressure maybe. tires. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. I'm no genie. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to watch and find out. Hildinger is going to be taking that lead back here as Climber's in the pits. Nick Boyd, four and a half seconds back on Hildinger at the moment. Hildinger going to be absolutely demolishing Boyd for the and, next uh, few Weber laps here. On pits. And that's Weber in? Yep. That's <laughs> all of them. So it says someone say yellow? <laughs> Somebody say yellow? I did not. Yellow? <laughs> So I'm gonna say a banana. <laughs> Climber, 39.9. .9. And in on 105 from Climber, lap 105. Weber went in with him. You guys will hear his pit time in just a second as he starts to come that out. Means 60 to 105. That's 45 laps. The rest of this race for Climber is 45 laps. Weber, 39.2. You have to wonder if you can splice that cable or if it's too complicated, Dave. Like, I wonder if you could take it, a, like, cut it and actually fix it. You did really good in that Mustang race, too. Yeah, Devin here was scared. <laughs> the I was end. terrified, Jesus. <laughs> Peter's coming up behind me and battling with Brandon Skinner. <laughs> yeah. Did they go to the hospital? And he, like, almost gave both of us a high text. Blair sent me a message after that race and said, You were too high. I'm usually slower than you. Like, no, Blair, you just did good, buddy. You just did good. <laughs> <laughs> Back to our action. Hildinger holding it three and a half seconds in front of Boyd at the moment. But Boyd is actually reeling him in. Bit by bit, Hildinger with a 32-381 for that last lap. And Nick Boyd with a 32 9 so we'll have if to I can, see. I can just see McBoyd back there as he crosses the start finish line. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to page through the field here. Just take a little look. Looks like Wayne Roberts managed to get a position on Climber after that pit cycle. Climber running behind now in fourth position. Again, I'm not. Like, is he hoping for a yellow? Is that what it is? Is he hoping for a yellow? Hope that he's not a lap down. Like, if he's on the lead lap and he gets a yellow, then he can pit and come out, like, in the front, right? That's that's what he's hoping for? There's got to be um, something think, along those lines. Think. Hitting later like that, it hasn't worked out for them up until now. I don't yeah. know why he would continue. He's got to have they a reason, him. though. Climber knows. He's yeah. not not uh, what you would call ignorant when it comes to this oval racing stuff. Yeah. I'm the ignorant so, one. <laughs> yeah. I could into the pits. That's the 17 car of Jerry Watson. 17 car. And this is an unscheduled pit. Mm. I wonder what happened. Oh, no. Maybe speeding. Oh, no. Hey. No. How long was his pit time there, Joshua? He hasn't uh, left yet. 39.8. Okay, so that's a regular pit time then. Wasn't a penalty. We'll keep an eye on these guys, see how they're doing. Joe Hildinger, two seconds ahead of Nick Boyd. Nick Boyd is reeling him in pretty strong, though. Let's actually get an in-car on Boyd for a moment here. I'll go yeah, with the roll bar by, here. Uh, end up a whole second. Yeah, this seems to be the best line on the track at the moment. Nick Boyd running real strong. I mean, Climber's doing well, but... Boyd seems to be the most consistent out there at the moment. He's running that center line still. He's not going crazy low. He's not going crazy high. At least till the tires start to wear. But you watch him here coming in on three. He's not going to come down to the apron. He's going to come down to about that groove there for the middle. And then open it back up for four here. Back out to the wall. You can see his steering input on the left-hand side of the screen there is pretty smooth. A little bit of correction here and there, but 
not very many wasted movements. You see him coming in. It's a very subtle turn in. He's not cranking the wheel. A little bit of a save there, but coming back out again. A little bit of a correction there, but not much. Real smooth, real clean. And he is indeed reeling in Hildegger. Josh, do the math. How many laps before Joe gets caught by Nick? 1.6 seconds back, running about four tenths mm. faster. Well, let's see. Last lap it was 0.6 seconds, so I'm guessing maybe in a lap or two. My quick math says three. Four at most. Alright, so as long as less than five, we're good. <laughs> there we go. Alright. The consensus is less than five. <laughs> Dave Blair with the Prime subscription. Thank you, Dave, for the sub. Much appreciated. If you guys don't know, I guess we can sub over here. That's totally a thing. Kath goes 2.5. Kath is my math guy as a rule. Thanks, Kath. I appreciate you. <laughs> it goes decimals. I was going, okay, 1.6 back and 4 times 4 is 1.6. So 4 laps, right? <laughs> I had Make a relative up. idea in my head. <laughs> thank you again, Dave. Appreciate the subscription, guys. Very, very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, as a reminder, guys, just while I'm thinking about it, of course, you guys can sub. You can also patron at patreon.com slash the simpet. Anything you guys do monetarily-wise, though, does help us over here at uh, at the simpet. Very, very much so. I'm going off just getting here this very second. Welcome, Calf. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for popping in, buddy. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, so once again, you guys can check out patreon.com slash the simpet, uh, youtube.com slash the simpet, and obviously twitch.tv. TV slash Simpit Live. We also have a YouTube, which uh, youtube.com slash Simpit Live, where we upload these races as well as David Blair's constantly putting up random little shorts and videos and stuff like that. And uh, any kind of crew racing that you guys would like to share, if you decide to send in the videos to me or uh, my, myself, Sean, Dave, any of us, you let us know. We'll get them uploaded for you guys as well if you'd like to share some stuff with the community. That channel is there more as a pit crew dump station for uh, us to kind of share our community stuff more than anything else. So again, that's youtube.com slash live for that one. Nick Boyd, reeling him in! Yeah, Jay was the failing to an 8, uh, left 108, and Nick just came off the pits. 40.9. <laughs> Joe, this cool system has failed. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm sticking with it. I said 1.6 <laughs> second gap, 4 times 4 is 16. That means 4 laps. I My math was solid, okay? All right. <laughs> I'm a dummy, but that that sounds reasonable to me. <laughs> right, Kath? See, I, I totally <laughs> did the math. Right I hey. totally mask, man. Okay? It's not very often when I'm right. <laughs> Let me have this one. It's rare. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's very rare. Speaking of climber, he's also catching up back there. 32.615 oh, on high. that last lap. Up on. Yeah, Boyd definitely struggling a bit on that corner. Couldn't get, quite get her in. <laughs> they put their ass coin, they do math. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a mistake out of Boyd. It's been a while. I mean, this dude has been running clean, clean, clean. We'll get you guys back out of the car again. I know I left you on the roll bar for a while there, but I've been enjoying watching him. As we back ourselves out and take a look. I'll go through the leaderboard here real quick as well as we stay focused on Boyd and his battle for Hildinger. I think he would have caught him up there that last couple laps right there, but now he's going to have to struggle. Joe Hildinger out front. Polly Pole stay pole. Nick Boyd also in his starting position for second place. David Clymer at the moment running half a second faster than one and two, but he's four seconds, excuse me, four seconds back, so it could be a while yet. Uh, Wayne Roberts in fourth, up two. Mike McMillan down one to fifth position. Andrew White still up two into six. Jeremy McLam up five at the moment into seventh position. And Donald Warren maintaining his status as our mover for the day, up six positions to eighth. Kenneth Estep doing real well, up to ninth position now. That's up two from his start. And Mark Sequick is wrapping out our top ten in that 78 car, down three from his current position. Mike Weber in 11th, Jerry Watson in 12th, and Mick Period in 13th. He broke it, White. He broke it. He broke everything. He broke it, but he got it right back on track. If you take a look now, only three tenths separating him and Joe. My math was finally good, but he couldn't let me have this one. <laughs> Hildinger coming up on the lap oh, yeah. traffic right now. Mark Sequoyak's right there in number ten, in number seventeen, number seventy-eight car in tenth position. Words. There's so many numbers. Uh, I hate the cop review. <laughs> Copper and Blip drive me crazy. To be honest with you, I usually delete them. If you guys want to get a, I mean, we were watching, once this battle 
spurts up here, we'll come back. But if you guys want to see, this is how we set up for the stream. So I actually, I didn't even do it this time, so I can show you. Usually what we do is we take our cameras, you open up that box there. If you go to the spectator camera here. And then there's a group. You keep an eye on them. Let me know if they do anything crazy, okay? So now I can go through here and I can delete other cameras. So like, we don't really need to have... You know, the far chase with the with a broadcast. We don't need this one. I hate this camera. And this camera. So I get rid of them. Usually I get rid of one of the pit lanes and then keep the other. And then I'll go down, like, TV1 is too close, so we'll get rid of that one. TV3 on this one is a little too far, so we'll get rid of that one. And then I can save it. And it'll be there for us next time. So I can hit escape now. And you'll see, so now when I go through the cameras, there's less jump, right? It's just scenic, right to TV, right to pit lane, right to rear chase, right? And I can jump into the in-car real quick. That's how we do the so, cameras. Uh, <laughs> in case you ever wanted to know. So David Climber went to the pits on lap 121. 39 even was his time. Went into the pits? What? The last pit of lap 105, so... He must be counting he... on a yellow. He's counting on a yellow. He has to be. Probably also messed up his math. Yeah, it, well, maybe fuel. Yeah, it could be fuel. That's true. That's true. It could be fuel. I didn't think about that. That's fair. I accept you. <laughs> hey, I'm accepted. I'm going to put it on most exciting for a minute. Let the camera do its thing. Joe Hildinger running in first at the... Whoa! Oh! Mick coming up top. He's going to catch his front end. That's the lap car. Mick period catching Joe Hildinger. Joe Hildinger going to wiggle around. End up coming down low. The yellow does not come out, though. Right there. Mick Whoa. Boyd's going to go up top. Oh, I'm uh, that's... Mick got dq for that, but... No, he's Let's back. I, was that... Uh, that was his final was X, it? wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it looked see. like... Weapon. So... Go thing and Mick side by side, just passed us out finish line now. Mick just goes up. He thought he cleared a uh, Hildinger, but not apparently. He just clips that front left <laughs> bumper right there. And smack. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You don't want to see that. I'm sure he's going to be kicking himself there. I mean, you don't want to make a mistake in the first place, but a mistake that collects the leaders on top of that, you always kick yourself for that kind of thing. And that does put Nick Boyd in the lead now. Oh, some poo shot out there. Yeah, yeah, you know what's up. <clears throat> Nick Boyd now taking the lead, and he's going to have it strong. Hildinger's going to be damaged. He's falling back there. Mike Weber in 10th three behind him. Probably going to be running quicker, That's... honestly, after that touch with the wall. That was an unfortunate way for things to shake up. Now they're really going to be hoping for a yellow. Because that's the only thing that's going to get these guys back up there again at this point. Joe Hildinger, just going to be a sad man, I think. It's a carrick in the pits. <laughs> I'll take out the lead up in the Joe last season. Last Climber race. coming yeah. by. Happened to Joe last season in the last race. Oh, no. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, you can imagine he is all of the sea in red. I would also be extremely angry. The kayak leaves the time, uh, they provoke time of 40 seconds. That's 124 that Sequoia came in, just so you guys are aware, 124. Climber went in 121, and he's now flying. What is he, what is his strategy here? He did get by the leader. I mean, he's, he's, I think he's back on the lead lap again. Hmm. No, not quite. Yes? Yeah, uh, no. Yes, no. Not quite, that, not quite, not quite. He's, he's on lap down from him at the moment. It's, uh... E step coming down, almost catching climber there. Climber is just flying. Um... Yeah, and again, Hildinger, that's pitting lap 129. I mean, it happens, yes, but. Spot off, didn't check me out, like to play item. Spacecraft went out the window. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll take only his thing, 9.6. Yeah, it's one of those mistakes you really don't want to happen. That's the reason why I have my spotter, like you can change the gap on your spotter so it comes on earlier. 
I have mine come on a good bit earlier. You'll notice when Josh is spotting for me on the on Tuesday is that my the little text on the bottom comes up like a half a second before Josh says anything sometimes, and that's because I have it set earlier because of that kind of thing. <laughs> you see, sometimes that crap happens, Cat, because you think you're clear, but in actuality you're not, and then a wreck happens. And now you're just like kicking yourself when Dave, did you hit a cop while on your phone? That seems oddly specific. <laughs> I hope not. Nick Boyd in that 22 is running strong at this point. I don't think there's anything that can take it away from him, honestly. I mean, it's just there's. Yeah, unless he gets the, the yellow. Between him and Roberts is 2.4 seconds. Just under 20 to go. Yeah, with Roberts running basically the same, same lap times as well. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because <laughs> <laughs> enough is just. I mean, I'm I'm one to talk. I drifted my. I had a Toyota Tercel and I drifted it into an off-duty police officer's home vehicle. Ah, oh, that's. Yeah, he was driving a Rav Four. Both of them have too many crumple zones. Neither of those vehicles survived. Is he a Mountie? No, no city police. <laughs> Yeah. Probably would have been better if it was a Mountie. It was a city police. He came out and kicked my ass. Oh. <laughs> he beat, beat the yeah. part of my yeah, life. He beat the shit yeah, the out of me. sent you a butt to Ontario. <laughs> to get to the foot. Get to the butt. <laughs> don't, don't look at your phone while driving. I'm tired of honking at you at the light. Put it down and drive. Thank you. <laughs> this has been a public service announcement with Dave Blair. <laughs> yeah, the fault. What the car should do is it starts up and it grabs your phone tightly, just tightly enough. But you can't yank it out of there. Now that is what they should do. Oh, sorry, I got stuck on the pace car there. Nick Boyd still running out top. Wayne Roberts in that 47, holding down second position. Kenny Step did manage to get another one. He's in ninth at the moment. He's got Jerry Watson though right behind him. So there's a bit of a battle going on there. And Watson is going to be on fresher tires, but he gets a little bit loose going down low there. Joe Hildinger now in seventh position after his 128 uh, pit there. Ah, got got a second PSA from Twitch blocking the stream and the process <laughs> on Discord. <laughs> this is interesting. What happened here? Yeah. Distractions. Lots of distractions today. Yes. Hello. If you're seeing this and you're not already on Twitch.tv, click here to get the best Twitch experience. If you're seeing this and you're already <laughs> on Twitch.tv, please review your third-party tools. Most likely, there is an ad blocker or script running on your browser, making it look like you're watching from another site. <laughs> ad blocker. He just he ousted just, himself. Just now we all know. Origin. Kath is blocking. Just, get, just getting you blocked. No, off, no creator support. No creator support. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch my program. I don't want to watch ads. You gotta whitelist this channel, guys. Come on yeah. now. <laughs> I'm not joking, but I don't know how to whitelist. <laughs> 2.2 as we finish our sidetrack between Wayne Roberts and Nick Boyd. It's maintained. These guys are running virtually the same lap times. 15 laps left to go. People, I don't think a game was. I'm in the water to some degree, but they just came more suckered into the tech. They just sort of dependent on it. It's like life support, you know. <laughs> Money I bought for five, for five years, and I never, never had an issue. Twitch has play anyway. They are embedded. <laughs> Not catching on. Yeah, I catch on. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know. I thought I didn't think Twitch ads were. They, I thought they came up. I mean, yeah, I guess they. Yeah, okay. It doesn't actually take it away from the browser. It like runs it in your stream. Whereas like YouTube, it's a separate video. Basically, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand ad block. All right, I've been a creator for like ten years at this point, so <laughs> I've never once used it. It's kind of like TV and the commercials, you know? You go do something when the commercials are playing, and then you come right back to your TV. That's what I do. Yeah. Creator's like, oh, I'm running a two-minute ad, and I'm like, all right, I can go not play with myself. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a broadcast booth. Don't make that joke. Shut up. 
<laughs> you almost this, did. <laughs> this has been one of those days, all right? The, the first 10 <laughs> laps of this race were a gong show. True. I'm struggling. Yeah, the ending is just being a gong show. <laughs> hey, but being, hey, at least it went consistent. <laughs> That's right, yeah. First 10 laps, weird as all hell. Last 10 laps, weird as all hell. Consistency. The thing that's lacking. Thanks for the video of the pit of the thing because it was running hot. I was afraid I was going to blow up in front of the leader, so I pulled off and caught in my. Uh. What is this chat at you? <laughs> God, I never any more tires at the MBM and I'm with Imagine White. <laughs> Smart idea, Max. Smart idea. Good plan, man. Dad look, Good plan. Dad was like, like a cat with a string. <laughs> yeah. Sean's a squirrel. I'm a cat. I accept it. It's fine. It's fine. What is does that make me? The stiff. Oh. <laughs> Extreme to the max. Gifted a tier one sub to Kath. Appreciate it, Max. Thank you very much. Many, many thank yous. Many, many, many thank yous. Appreciates. We have emotes. Look, there's max emotes. Eventually, uh -huh. we'll add more because I stream on this channel too, and I'm dumb and just haven't yet. We definitely can. One day we will. Ah, uh, you're up and we're bailing out. We went so far away from the actual racing. Um, <laughs> it's so far away from the actual racing, indeed. While Too we're far. away from the actual racing, patreoncom the simpit. Speaking of subscriptions, you guys can sub to the channel, you can throw a patron subscription, whatever you guys like, it all goes to helping us do what we do at the Simpit. Much appreciated. That includes the broadcasts, the races, the re equipment reviews, and keeping the power on over at Sean's place. It's kind of an important thing if you want your reviews, you know. The thing it, it needs to power, but haven't gotten around to a better internet. <laughs> can Max make a Max Pyramid? Just saying, Max making a Max Pyramid would be extreme to the Max. Mm. Nick Boyd running in the lead still. Wayne Roberts is catching up to him though. 1.5 now separating these two. Yep. We could see a battle before the end. There's eight laps left. It could happen. Right now, yeah. we've we'll got three tenths faster. Climber's back up to fourth as well. Speaking of people that are moving like mad, where is he? He's not even that far back. It's like 10 seconds back. <laughs> like a candle lit with you, be very romantic. Alright. A candle lit review. Okay, what product do I have to review <laughs> by candlelight? Uh, hmm. A candle that lit? In any of them? <laughs> oh, am I supposed to, like, review a candlelight? Or am I supposed to do the review by candlelight? Request unclear, please confirm. <laughs> Please specify more. <laughs> Please clarify. Booth is dumb. Please help. <laughs> what's that for? What's that? E is this, uh, I don't even need. I was going to say uh, my brain stopped working, but it stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> Review my wooden rig by candlelight. <laughs> yes, that seems like a wondrous idea. Why? Well, a death mobile in the <laughs> truest sense. In my guess the house on fire, not good. That'd be that hot. Be hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Joe, Jesus, no! <laughs> this broadcast is gonna be one that goes down in the books as the as the broadcast you don't watch with your family. Mm -hmm. Neo! Okay, it's our sentence. Hope you're well, buddy. All right, lap 147. These by, but these buys, these buys got four to go by, four to go. Jeez, you can get oh, broken. We got a, one more bad up against the and Andrew White, six and seven, right in front of Boyd. They're going at it, but Boyd's about to get up in there, and R Roberts is still pretty close behind. And I mean, again, barring a yellow. I think he's got it locked down, but he's oh, got to deal with the track, and the number 38 wall. touches the wall. That's right, number three of Andrew White going to make that pass. Here we go. 
Nick Boyd going down low on these two. It's going to be too wide. He's going to be offline coming into turn one. That could allow Wayne Roberts to catch up a little bit more. Roberts now within a second on our leader, but I don't know if he's going to be able to get in there or not. We'll have to watch and see, because now he's stuck behind all that traffic. It's not looking like it's going to happen here. Quite the battle, quite the cluster. Nick Boyd still running the lead. Andrew White in sixth in that number three car, and Jeremy McLam in fifth. Donald Warren still in, uh, still up six for eighth position as our mover for the day. He's doing yeah, well. Yeah, it's uh, two to go. From Just Nick about Boyd. the end. That's right, two to right, go. Right Nick flag. Boyd. Next time, by. What a race here today. 10 laps of Gog Show and 140 laps of racing and us getting distracted. Yeah. Oh, One man, of those days. Oh, I get a visa, a little bit of problem. I was going to say, no yellow so yet. Just around to the grass. It's, it's a good thing you hit the grass. <laughs> oh, no. Appreciate it, Oasis. Thank you very much, buddy. Much appreciated. Good race, Jerry. That's it. White flag is out. Nick Boyd. On the last lap, here we go. Nobody can take it away from him at this point. Coming through the last turns here into turn three. And four. Looking to keep it clean. And, and out boy through four. is going to win it. Atlanta. Yeah, he's got it. No questions asked. We cross the line. There he goes. Nick Boyd winning this race here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway in the Simpit Oval Series. Going to be Wayne Roberts crossing the line behind him in second position. Andrew Great White job, in sixth. Bobby. Jerry Andrew Watson in ninth. Jeremy McClam for seventh. Mike McMillan in third. David Clymer crossing the line for fourth. And there you go, boys. Let's go focus on our leader. See if we can get some donuts out of him here. And we will take a look at our final positions here for this race. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a damn good race, actually, even with the cluster yeah. that started it off today. Max with the gifted sub for Wasted. Thanks very much, Max. Once again, Max is the number one gifter on a whole bunch of channels at the moment. Nick boy. There you are, buddy. Stay puff, boss, mellow man. This is main demon. Getting his donuts on. Yep. And here we go with Lighting. our standings. All right, boys. 16 cars gridded up today. Nick Boyd coming second place with his grid position, finishing in first with the win. A hard fought battle with Jerry Watson. Unfortunately. Oh, right. cool. Wiki lap. Uh, Jeremy McLam, rather. Unfortunately, McLam getting uh, caught up by some lap traffic there, separating that battle. But it is what it is, and Nick now gets the win. So, Nick Boyd, congratulations. Wayne Roberts in second position, and Mike McMillan rounding out your podium. Once again, congrats to the podium. David Clymer with that weird pit strategy again. He must have ran out of fuel or something. Pitting and putting himself in fourth for the end. Joe Hildinger yeah, in fifth. <laughs> Andrew White for sixth. Jeremy McLam for seventh. Donald Ward in eighth. And Jerry Watson in ninth. Mike Weber rounds out your top ten. Mark Setquayek for eleventh. Kenneth East up for twelfth. Mick, period, in thirteenth. David Blair in 14th, Christian Rally for 15th, and Braden Swack bringing up the rear for 16th position as Nick Boyd gives us a little bit of that reverse lap. Yeah, no, as the Polish Wiki lap or the Cole Wiki lap. Gunshots coming from Joe's car, from, from <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Joe's car. Yeah, that's just that's unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate to see. If you didn't notice, I said Atlanta. I combined the words at and Atlanta to one. Yeah, Hildinger, Hildinger getting kind of getting hooped there. But as we get to watch Nick do his burnouts, very, very nice, very, very nice. Mm, donuts. There we go, boys. The ending June has been started. Thank you guys for coming to hang out today. Twas a good stream, much enjoyed. Twas a good broadcast, much enjoyed. Thank you, Chattel. Very much so appreciate you guys coming to hang out. I will be getting this race downloaded right away, and we will upload it to the Simpit Live channel on YouTube. Again, youtube.com slash Simpit Live, if you guys would like to check that out later on, if you happen to miss any of it. And we are going to find ourselves a raid for the day, and that's going to be that. Thank you guys once again. Very, oh, very well, much. Yeah, guys are welcome. Yeah, and a big thank you to Josh for coming to join. Mm -hmm. 
many appreciates. Thank you. Oh, I hit the wrong button. There yeah, we go. Yeah, don't hit the wrong button. <laughs> Are you gonna? I put an apostrophe in, and there didn't need to be one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to hit the green button, not the red button. The green button is to raid. The red button is to poof, float. Alrighty, there we go, guys. Raid is up once again. Thank you guys very much. We will upload the race for you. It will be there on the morrow. Thank you guys once again. Here are your stats for the last week. These will update not right away, but they will for the next race. Uh, Sim Pit Oval. Make sure I save this correctly so you guys actually get what you need to get. Hey, hey, ho, ho. We did the thing. There we go. All right, so David Klamer, Klamer was leading with Mike McMillan and Jeremy McGlam in second and third, respectively, so we'll have to see how that shakes up come next week. Thank you guys once again for watching. I'm feeling to hit that raid button, and we will see you again on the Thursday. I believe Sean will be here Sunday morning for a Simpit Road Series race, and he might be here tomorrow night. Don't quote me on it, though. We'll see what we can do. We do have some uh, Road Series practice, so we'll see how she goes. Thanks again, boys. Take it easy. Yeah, see you at New Hampshire. Woo! Thanks, Josh. <laughs>